Okay, so to make cacao at home, you want to make sure that you are weighing it so you know how much you're having. Every cup is slightly different, so even if you have identical cups, you want to weigh them individually because they will vary slightly in size. And you take your cacao, if it's not already pre-chopped, you just chop it up and then you weigh it in. One tablespoon is about 10 grams if you don't have scales at home. And tonight we're going to have about 20 grams because that's a mid-range dose. So it's 21, so I'll take a little bit out. Can be a bit finicky. Mm -hmm. um, recreational dose is considered to be 10 to 15 grams and mid-range 20 grams, which is pretty good for a daily. Um, 10 to 15 is good to start out if you're not used to having cacao. Oops, see, there we go. It's already 15 grams out. Retear that one. And 35 to 40 is considered a ceremonial dose, depending on the type of cacao you're working with. But always feel into your body and how much cacao you're going to have. If you start drinking it and you find that your body is asking for less, have less. If you're at 20 grams, then you know you're okay to have a little bit more. If you get to the bottom of your cup and you need to hide, you're still feeling a little bit peckish. Um, but it's best not to go over 60 grams in a sitting. So with your water, you want to make sure that it's about 80 degrees. If it's boiling, it will actually burn the cacao because that's still got all of the beautiful fats and oils in it. Um, so if you've boiled your kettle, you want to make sure that you're letting it sit for a little bit, maybe about five minutes before you use it because that will reduce the temperature for you. You want to just put enough in to cover the cacao to begin with. And then I like to use a little handheld milk frother because it makes it a little faster. And you just go, wee! If you're using a spoon, that's completely fine. A wooden spoon, if you've got a little wooden spoon available, is really good because metal can disrupt the energy of the cacao. Um, you can, of course, restore the energy through intention and meditation and blessings, the same way you would work with a crystal. Um, but I like this because it's a lot faster. If you're using a spoon, though, and you start stirring, the trick is to keep stirring. So when you think you've stirred enough, keep stirring. And you think you've stirred enough, keep stirring. And stir some more. <laughs> the emulsion is actually what helps to release the fats into the water and to blend it really well. You can use a blender as well. Um, some people like to do that, but I find if you're making a smaller amount, it can actually make it cold really quickly, unless of course you've preheated your blender with some hot water. Um, the traditional way, one of the traditional ways is actually to use something called a molino, which is a type of wooden whisk. I don't have one of those, unfortunately, but I look forward to showing everyone when I do get one. Okay, so you can see here that it's starting to look nice and thick and then we'll just top it off with some more water. Now, d the amount of water depends a lot on personal preference and the type of cup that you're using. These are smaller cups, so you have less water, which means we're going to get a little bit of a thicker cacao. Um, if you're using a bigger cup, then I'd suggest using a little bit less water. Oops, accidentally put a bit too much for this one, but that's okay. Um... But yeah, it's really highly up to personal preference. I like to use smaller cups because then it's a little bit more intimate with the cacao. Um, but you can just use, I'd, I'd recommend using your favourite cup because that gives you a little bit of a better connection with the vessel that's holding your cacao, which means it's going to be just one of those really nice happy moments when you're drinking a drink out of your favourite cup. Everyone loves to do that. And then when you've made your cacao, I really recommend just taking a moment to slow down and feel into it. Maybe saying a little prayer or a blessing. It's really good to acknowledge the elements. One of the beautiful things about cacao is that it does incorporate all of the elements into it. You've got the fire, the heat of the water, and the roasting process that the cacao goes through. You've got the earth because it is a plant medicine. You've got air, the steam, and the messages of spirit. You've got water, obviously, because you're making it with water. And then spirit, because you are working with the spirit of cacao, ish cacao. And yeah, once you've made your cacao, it's also really nice if you have the opportunity to share it with a friend.
Yay, like I'm doing tonight. <laughs> so there you go.